Welcome to the It's All Fine and Danji podcast, where hosts Dan and Angie talk with creatives, small business owners, charities, and all kinds of interesting people. It's all real talk. It's all fine and dangy. Hey, everybody, and welcome to episode 115 of the It's All Fine and Dangy podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we just love when we can have success stories and people come join us here in the studio. Indeed. Stu- studio. Yes, <laughs> studio. Indeed. That's, right. that's, a, that's a slang cool term for that's studio. That's right. We're, we're starting a new um, slang term. <laughs> no, Why we're not. not? Why not? We are not doing Angie that. Angie always has made up words anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> But uh, we are joined today by jo- Joey Meany. Jo- okay, we're going to have to start over. Okay, we'll Jeez, start. Jeez, Angie. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I, we're just... Going with it. Okay. Joey Meany is joining us today here in studio. And he started a business in 2020, which we've heard a lot of success stories come out of 2020. We have. We've heard a lot of businesses that did, literally were born out of the virus and yeah. people having to stay home. And, so we'll, we'll get into that yeah, a little bit. for sure. But Joey has a business that is all about men's grooming and taking care of those fabulous beards <laughs> on men that are coming back, may I say. And he has a business called Joe Grows, and it's all about men's grooming products and beard oils. So welcome, Joey. Thank you so much for joining us in studio today. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Well, she meant to say in studio, but thank you for joining <laughs> us in studio today. For sure. Um, so before we get into the questions, and uh, I promise not to make too many jokes about the fact that I can't grow a beard and I'm almost 50, but... Um, I do want to kind of go back a bit and do what we normally do when we meet with a guest. And before we get into your business or, you know, what it is that you're doing, we want to find out a little bit about you personally, whatever you're comfortable sharing, maybe where you're from and your childhood or, you know, whatever you want to share. For sure. Um, I'm born and raised in Leesburg, Florida. I've been here my whole life. So nice. That's, that's pretty cool. I just moved to Mount Dora actually. So we're still in the same area, but getting there and, um, <laughs> So the basically just always been able to grow a beard like pretty yeah. young, like I think sophomore year in high school. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> wow. It just started coming in and then I was like, oh my gosh. But I always told people like when I was um, starting to kind of get a few little hairs, I was always rubbing my face like, you got to stimulate the follicles Make it that grow. come in. Yeah. And they're all like, no, no, no. So... <laughs> Now I have this huge beard and everyone's like, how'd you do it? And I'm like, I told y'all back in the day. Were all your friends jealous? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So for, for a quick little sort of side story thing, but my fam- there's, there's Native American blood in my family. I don't know how much, but I always attribute that to the fact that I can grow, you know, I could use your products because I can grow a mustache and beard in here. And, and for those of you that aren't watching the video, I'm like in my mustache and goatee area, but like on my cheeks and stuff for me, it's, you know, eight or 10 hairs. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, so I'm always envious cause you've got this again, for those of you not watching, Joey has this luxurious thick black <laughs> beard. So you, you are definitely, um, you know, you have the exact kind of beard that you would want to be able to advertise this because oh, for you're, sure, yeah. you got it all cleaned up and stuff. So that's funny. I am also a local uh, born, born and raised in Apopka, you know, nice. a couple towns Floridian, over. A true Floridian. True Floridian. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, you talked about how you're, you stimulate your hair growth and you grew a is beard. Is that a real your, thing though? Well, I'm stimulating. I, think I don't, so. I don't think yeah. it is. But I don't know. It's a running debate because I okay. also, it's also that I belief if there's that science behind it. Like who would do that study? Like I well, want to know yeah, how yeah, that yeah, study would know. look. It's also that, cause I did read up on this once where I had a buddy, Darren, like you, who grew a beard like in middle school. And of course, all of the girls wanted to date him or whatever. Like a man. Cause right. And meanwhile, I'm over here with no hair on my legs and gym going, don't look at me. <laughs> But, uh, but, um, to get back to, you know, the whole, uh, whether or not you grow a beard, we used to say, if you shave, it'll grow. So when we were kids, you know, we're shaving the peach fuzz (laughs) off of our you know, face and it didn't do anything. I think that that philosophy, I'm not sure about stimulating the follicles because that may be true, but shaving to make it grow, that philosophy from what I've read comes from the way that plants grow, which is totally different. You know, if you cut a plant, it grows thicker Ah. and thicker. And so I don't know, I'm not sure about the science behind that, but I'm still curious what inspired you to start this business. Uh, so I just wanted a good product for myself. It was mm-hmm. hard to find like a really nice product that I that I like that lasted that I have really thick hair. So yeah. it's kind of hard to get a good 
beard oil that kind of lasts throughout the day and now it doesn't dry it out. Like I've had a lot of products that just didn't really work or weren't, weren't my favorite products. And so I've had this idea for a long time. I've always had a beard. So eventually I was like, you know what? I should, everyone's always asking me, how do you get a beard? And I'm like, I had to always like really search for a good product. Yeah. And I was like, well, I should make my own. Yeah, no That's, doubt. That is amazing. So did that, um, you started putting it together in 2020 or was it kind of before that and then it just developed over that year? The beginning of 2020 was the like main part where I was like, uh, I should do this. I've always had the idea, but never really done anything. Yeah. 2020 is when I started like developing the actual product and trying to figure out what I would do with it. And getting serious mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, absolutely. So, I have a fundamental question and forgive me if this is sort of a silly question, but what does spirit oil do? So it kind of gives you a, a, a softer feel. Um, it kind of like hydrates your beard and also the skin underneath your beard. It can be very sensitive with, you know, the thick hairs growing through. It can be very agitated. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you don't clean it and take care of it, um, you know, you can get all kinds of rashes and kind of weird yeah. stuff. And and I think we've all known or seen someone who's got a beard and it looks like their skin is uh, yeah. raw underneath. Yeah. Because it maybe it dries the skin out or, you know, because I would think that guys probably wash it with soap when they're in the shower, but are not conditioning it or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, of course me, I've just never thought of that. Like, Oh, guys have to take care of, them, you know, but it kind of makes sense how oh, for sure. the skin underneath would be irritated. Right. And you can tell, you know, no disparagement to anyone, but you can tell, you, you know, your beard is all well manicured and taken care of. And, sure. you know, we all know someone that has a big beard, but it looks like a total mess or it's dry <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. it's interesting. I feel like this is an emerging uh, product and maybe this used to be popular back in the 20s and 30s. I don't really know the history of it, but I could totally see it being a thing now that's taken off. Just For like sure. just like the barber shops where they do the really nice work on your hair and yeah, you know, getting away from these chains of great clips and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us what some of the challenges and successes were um, during putting your product together in 2020. For sure, um, definitely tough to get the right balance of oils like your base oils it's very hard to get kind of without being too greasy without mm. being too soft and not enough kind of hold enough thickness where it's it just kind of it will dry out after a couple hours yeah. so I went through probably 20 different recipes and I went through about 36 different types of base oils and I took down every single scientific property of it, you know, wow. antifungal, antimicrobial, like any little thing. And I kind of developed what I thought were the best oils that I wanted. So to promote growth, um, castor oil is a big part yeah. and mm -hmm. of my base and that promotes growth that it, it, you know, it's not going to guarantee growth, yeah, but of course. the the products in it will promote it. Hmm. So, and it sounds like you're using natural products as well. Yes. This I, castor oil has been that it's been known like with, um, I'll just, you know, ladies out there know that castor oil, if you put it on your eyelashes, it's supposed to yes, make them thicker absolutely. and promote growth. Wow. So that's interesting. So it sounds like you did a lot of research when it came and it uh, oh, yeah. went through probably a ton of products. Yes. Getting there. <laughs> absolutely. Tell me like about the testing, like, Okay, so you would put a product on, and how long would you test it for to see if it worked? Would you know right away? Did it take a while? So certain aspects, I, I had this list. It was like 10 different things that I wanted. Um, and there was a couple where it was like instant, you know, what was the shine that looked like? Because I do like a little bit of shine in sure. my beard. Mm. Um, did it give me any shine? Like what was the feel in my hands? Like sometimes I don't like super tacky stuff or like paste, like hair paste. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, or really oily. Cause yeah. then you go touch things and then yeah. so get it all over. Sure. Everything. Feel look. And then there was, you know, I would test it for a day, you know, did it stay in there? Um, the whole day, uh, you know, over a week, you know, did I actually see good results? Like, or did my beard just, you know, stay the same or start to dry out or, so there was a lot of testing and then, I did, I think about 30 or 40 samples that I gave out to everybody who I knew who had beards. Oh, uh, what a great idea. Yeah. For free. And I'm like, listen, 
test it for this should last you, you know, a week, two weeks. Let me know what you think at the end. Um, and did you use that feedback to kind of tweak the recipe, so to speak? A little bit. Yeah. You know, a lot of people said they liked it and I was like, I need your real honest opinion. opinion. Yeah, yeah. Real opinion. I'm like, what can I change? And a few people were like, Oh, little this and this. And so we tweaked it a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with where it is. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So you, you know, you've, we teased that before we started recording that we're not going to ask you about your business plan or anything, but it sounds like you really flushed it out to, to, not just to start a business for something that everybody needs, but also to tweak it and to test it enough to where you can be proud of the product and maybe make it stand above some of the other products that are out there, especially if you couldn't find something for yourself. I think the best products often come from the people that develop it are looking for something like that themselves. Apple does that a lot for for the features they release because they are using the stuff and they're like, Oh, I wish it did this. So I love that. I think that's, that probably speaks to the quality of your product. Absolutely. So like your base is castor oil, but I did notice that you have some scents in there too. So can you talk about that a little bit? And is that something that you always looked for, you know, just for your beard to smell good? Like chat about that a little bit. Cause that's interesting to me. I yeah. mean, I love essential oils, so I'm assuming that's what you've been putting in your products. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the base is actually three different oils, um, like a main, main oils, mm-hmm. and then it gets scented. Um, I try to find the, the best quality sense in essential oils. Cause again, like if you use the wrong essential oils, that could also affect the the feel of the beard. So, mm-hmm. and, you know, it could, you know, cause agitation. And sometimes, you know, if you're not using high quality products. Yeah, because um, so, also essential oils are volatile. So they can be an irritant yeah. to your skin. So like you can't just plop it right on your skin. So you've had to really experiment with, okay, only one drop of this. Yeah, or- yeah, with <laughs> the amounts and stuff. And yeah. um, right now I'm using a company and I, I like them, but... I would definitely try to find a, either a local company or a small business or something that I can get probably like a better quality, a slightly better quality mm-hmm. than what I'm using now. I um, might have a contact for you. For um, sure. Yeah. So my brother and sister-in-law have a company um, called Vix and Soaps and they do natural soaps and they work nice. with a company with essential oils. So we will chat afterwards. Absolutely. And maybe yeah. It might be the same when you're using. I don't know. But um, <laughs> it might be a good fit. It might be a good fit. Yeah, so sure. we, we, that's something we pride ourselves on is sometimes we get these little connections together. Yeah. Of, yeah. Wait yeah, a yeah. Minute, that's what you need. <laughs> oh, we know somebody. That's that. awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love, I love the relationships that have been born from that and knowing that we were part of it. Um, I'm curious. So from beginning to end, from the time you said, you know, I got, I got to find something that I can't buy anything that works for me. From the approximately from that time through all your testing until you said, this is the one I'm doing it. How long was that? I want to say probably eight months. Oh, wow. That's impressive. I wanted the right product. Yeah. Because I've done a lot of serial entrepreneur kind of. I've always done that since I was like a little, little kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Side hustles. That's always sure. I love it. Same. Um, but I never really like took anything serious. It was kind of just like, I just winged it right in yeah. two weeks and I, I'm open, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this one, I was like, man, I really got to just do it right. Focus. You know, I'm getting older. I'm like, I kind of want to like actually learn a legitimate business. Yeah. And so I really took this one seriously. And then the eight months was just the product. And then the rest has just been trying to figure out actual business stuff. I'm, I'm not very techy at all. So yeah. that has been extremely difficult. Yeah. Um, oh, learning what, like, you know, how to market or and website, yeah, and website how together. to do a website. Yeah. I, I was going to just pay people to do all this, but then I put like thousands literally into like developing the product yeah. and all the equipment. And I was like, I cannot afford to hire somebody to do a website. Yeah. So I guess I'm just going to have to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Dan has some tips I for definitely you do. after the yeah, show. Yeah, we can talk sure. after. Yeah. Techie, so. I'm, that's my life. But I can give you some input and some solutions that don't require you to be a developer that make, you can make a pretty awesome website for sure. mm-hmm. uh, from some of these things. And it's, and it's relatively inexpensive expensive too. Nice. Yeah. But that shows how serious you are though. Eight months to get things developed. I mean, I would say that 
again, probably speaks to the quality of the product because yeah. I love that mindset. I have that mindset too. side hustle. What else can I do? Ooh, mm -hmm. I like doing this. But I, I have found in my life that the things that I really invest my time and energy into learning how to do right, those are the success stories. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. And I like sometimes watch or read about people that are successful. I like to read biographies about that stuff. And the you know, a lot of people are like, oh, they're rich. They don't. But if you if you read what how much energy people had to put into getting as successful mm -hmm. as they are, it is usually almost always well deserved. Oh, absolutely. So good for you for, you know, trying to do it right. I, I just love that you said ever since you were little, you were always like having ideas of just like how to make money, how to do. For sure, yeah. Give me an example, like some of the things you did, like as a kid, like <laughs> did you mow lawns? Because I always love hearing those stories of yeah. just somebody who's just like always thinking, what can I do? What can I do? Yeah, definitely. Um, mostly pulling weeds when I was younger, younger. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> yeah. That was a big thing. Um, yeah. I probably mowed a few lawns, but that wasn't a big thing. I knew, um, I think it was like middle school, maybe going into high school, me and my, my best friend who's still my best friend today. Um, we made business cards and it was like J and R tree and lawn service and we had no equipment i don't no. know what we were doing but we just made business cards and we're like we're gonna figure it out and so we did a couple little jobs here and there cool, but nothing though. big but see that what's cool about that to me is a lot of kids that age you know you're playing video games or you're drawing or whatever yeah. it was for our generation you guys are sitting around dreaming up businesses oh for sure that that's you could start cool. that's very cool so about the products themselves i know that you you have some things that are still under development but i'm just i'm curious what products you have right now that are available and what's your plan for more products in the future? Because we talked about beard oil and we talked about other grooming products as for well. Sure. Uh, so right now I have four um, beard oils, all the same base, but different scents, um, one plain one. Um, but right now we're currently in um, Damas House of Cuts. It's a barber shop, barber lounge. Um, so currently we're right in there, but the uh, the website and everything is is pretty much finished. I have all the shipping mm -hmm. products and equipment that I need. So right oh, now, oh, so you have I, finished the website? Pretty much. That, oh, nice. That for right now, I like where it's at. Oh, very nice. Um, oh, good, good. Eventually, I want to add on to it. You know, I just liked wanting something very simple now. Yeah. Um, but so we're we're pretty much done with all that. I just got my bulk order of my first like bulk order of product well, that exciting. I need to start making. Yeah. Um, so once I get, you know, a big batch made, then I'm going to drop the website and we'll see what happens. Get rolling. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. That is awesome. So the, um, DeMoss, the place you, um, have your product in, is this a place that you frequent for, you know, Oh yeah. Trimming I've, your beard and stuff? I've been stuff? going there for six years now. Oh, wow. wow. So this is probably one of the, well, tell us about it. Cause I, I envision one of those. Yeah. Cause I looked that, up, that looked it up and it's pretty cool. Yeah. Is it one of those that where you can get like a hot shave and they do like the, yeah, oh, I, love, I love yeah. that that's a thing now it's coming back. But Joey cringes when people get their beard shaved off. <laughs> oh, I bet. You're like, wait, wait, what, what are, you are you doing, doing there? Why are you doing that? Like you I should, you should be questioning that. I still do the hot towel <laughs> shave, but he just does the shave where it's lines up, on the, up the beard. Yeah. 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 Um, well, and that's my how you get the brows. Yeah. yeah. I, he does all my whole face, but not the beard. Yeah. And, uh, it's like true pampering for men though, because oh, like, it's like women going and getting a facial and, you know, getting waxed and everything. But you guys have these places now yep. it's becoming very trendy and, and coming back in where y you need to be, have self care too, oh, you know, and yeah. be taken care of. So that's really cool. When we were on our wedding honeymoon vacation, Angie tried to talk me into going to want to a barber place like that and getting, and I'm like, and do what with this beard? Do what with this <laughs> it's tiny just little? Relaxing. <laughs> I mean, the guy is like 80 who runs the place. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you know, but you know, he knows what he's doing probably because yeah, he probably yeah, yeah. did it like back in the day. Yeah. But and there's you know, some the hot little towel. Yeah, just I, relaxing, I, man. I don't disagree. There is some something charming about that. To me, it reminds me of a simpler time where it's, you know, it, and also yeah. the style that's that's back now where guys have like yours, short on the sides, longer on the top beard to go with it it's a classic look i Absolutely, mean and it's, yeah. Uh, yeah if everybody well not in florida maybe but if everybody <laughs> could just start wearing the three-piece suits again and everybody me and dan always talk about that the when everybody was always dressed up 
Like mm-hmm. you yeah. just everywhere you go, you go to the grocery store, you're dressed up. Yeah. You go in, into town, you're just you're dressed up all the time. And guys are guys that everything. are like working outside for the day still had like collared shirts on wow, and yeah, rolled yeah. up yeah. and it, okay, you know, now. but but it's that classic that. it's that classic look. Yeah, you know, yeah, I love it. I love sure. that it's coming back or is back. So um so we talked about how you're partnered up or your your product is into moss. I'm sure yes. they, you know, are very um supportive as far as pushing your product. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um are you in works with, you know, partnering partnering partnering? Did I say that? <laughs> partnering, right? yeah. With any other um local companies? Do you have anybody in sight? Not yet. Um but locally and like in store, I want to be kind of picky about that, I guess you could say. I think that's great. Um, yeah. Because I, I want the quality to kind of to to stay the same. You know, I can't I can't really put my product in a, a shop where they're doing ten dollar haircuts and there's nothing wrong with a ten dollar haircut, yeah. but the people aren't gonna buy a twenty dollar bottle of beard oil when their sure. haircuts when they're only getting $10. A, yeah. it targets your audience properly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm a big as as I've gone through my little side hustles, I've I've figured out it's it's all about like which market to target. Like not everybody's your customer. And that's right. Either way you go, like that's okay. You know, you can target cheaper, more expensive in the middle, but you kind of have to just find your target and focus on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like your product would do well in like more boutique um, yeah. type stores yeah. that offer um, specialty soaps or, you know, handmade this, handmade that. Yeah. And um, that really put a big focus on local, like sure, small yeah. business and local. I think that is like the perfect fit, you know, or these, you know, little historic towns that have little shops, you know, yeah, like yeah. downtown Mount Dora. You, Absolutely. I'm sure there's some shops in there that would be like, this is really cool. Yeah. 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 And also, I think and this, I guess, sort of dovetails into what you just said, that it all comes down to someone that's willing to maybe pay a little bit more for a better product Absolutely, than yeah. you're mm-hmm. going to get at Target or Walmart or whatever. For yeah, sure. and this isn't a mass pr- produced product. Um, you, I think you wrote right on your um, your social media. It's small batch. Yeah, absolutely. So that way, um, you know, if anybody knows that when you are producing small batches like that, the qu- you maintain the quality. Yep. And also things like essential oils, when they sit on the shelf too long, they lose their um, potency, potency yep. or, you know, the, the, what, a, what am I trying to say? Like the, the good qualities of it, yep. you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think that's great that you're, you're thinking in that mindset, you can still run a very successful business For sure. and keep it small and keep it under your control. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Is that kind of the end game or do you, what, what do you see happening? Like where's this going? So I I only (laughs) want to have a few local shops just to be the local kind of presence. Cause I do think in store will still have some kind of effect, but I'm hoping that online will do pretty well. And I would like to grow this as big as I could. Of course. Um, and maintain quality. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I kind of interrupted you before, though. So you have the beard oils now. And and what are those other grooming products that you're working to provide? So I would like to have some kind of like like a men's soap um, with, with, you know, obviously good quality. Um, I've been working on a beard butter, which is a slightly different from oil. It's little softer um it's a definitely a different consistency oh, I see. Um, is it more like a lotion kind, kind of? of yeah okay. like more of a lotion texture okay but uh it's a little easier a little softer than you know you're not going to get a shine out of it you know it's for Some somebody that wants who, the texture more than the shine yeah a little yeah. more low-key okay. about it um and it's so funny asking this not like i don't know but i don't know because i can't yeah. grow hair. So uh, it makes sense to me though, because it's like shampoos. Like some people want it yeah. to be, or, or, or it's almost like it, to me, I can relate with like a hair care product. Like if I want to put something in my hair that makes it look wet or For makes sure. it look dry. Mm-hmm. So you're doing the same sort of science with that to come up with the butter and the, and eventually the soap. Absolutely. Very oh, nice. I love that. And can we just talk about your, um, your label for a minute? Your yeah, yeah. Trade- the logo. It's your very logo. cool. Your yeah. trademark, your logo. It's very cool. I Absolutely. love it. Absolutely. Um, so I'll that's your face. I'll put it up face. on screen right yeah. here. <laughs> yes. When I, yeah, you should because um, obviously that's your face, right? Yeah. Did you draw that? Did somebody else draw it? Like- I had my friend Katie um, draw it. She does that kind of 
part-time oh, cool. kind of little thing. Um, she's really good at it. Uh, is it like a graphic designer or she kind just... of, she, she draws it on like the computer or, or the iPad. Yeah. Or something yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Is that a business that she does? Is that? Yes, it is. All right. Well, let's plug that too. Oh yeah. What's her name? I'm Katie? pretty sure it's Kate illustrates. Oh, C-A-T-E. I love that. Oh my gosh. Kate Illustrates. Or Katie Illustrates. I can't remember which okay. one, but I'm pretty sure it's Kate Illustrates. We'll find her so that we can actually um, share that with the audience. That sure. would be super cool. Yeah, I think so too. So, Joey, how can people find you? I know you're working on your website, but right now, how can people find more information? Yeah, for sure. I have a little card. A little cheat sheet. My, yeah, my hey, I didn't blame me at all. Sheet. I have my cheat sheet in my hand right here. Remember. We also, um, for everybody listening, you know, we always add the links so they can just scroll right, scroll right down and just click um, it and go, go right to you. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, absolutely. But on Facebook and TikTok, um, it's just Joe Gross. Okay. Um, and then Instagram, it's underscore Joe Gross. Very nice. Awesome. All right, we'll put a link to your TikTok See, in there, I got to get used to the TikTok stuff because I am of a different age bracket than For sure, Joe. Yeah. And so I am <laughs> still the Facebook person and coming into the Instagram world. You know what I mean? So I got to get used to the TikTok and Twitter as well. I'm not is, so much into this. Is Twitter, that why you I just got... put Tim Tom in the notes? Shut up. <laughs> it <laughs> it, it, it auto corrected. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. It doesn't like that word yet. All right. So we're not going to go try to find you on Tim Tom, but we, we will put links in the show notes to your TikTok, to your, uh, to your uh, Facebook, your Instagram. And when the website's ready, let us know. We'd love to help promote yeah, yeah, that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate we, it. we wish you much success. And for all of our men out there listening that have fabulous beards, you can make your beard a little more fabulous with Joe's products. Indeed. You have to check it out. I, it won't give me a beard, but I can <laughs> I can uh, look on and envy. And what I wanted to say as well as, is, you know that we love to um, help support small businesses. So, guys, I know it's July, but, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. This is the perfect stocking stuffer. For sure. So, for those men in your life that have fabulous beards, we expect this to be in their um, <laughs> stocking this year. Or that have beards that aren't so fabulous but could be. This is exactly, right. Yeah. If you Or if you want your man to have a beard, this is the perfect thing <laughs> to give him the signal that, hey, it's time. Grow a beard, I need buddy. you to have That's this. Funny. Yes. Well, Very guys, nice. thank you so much for listening today. And thank you once again, Joe, for joining yes, us thank here you, Joe. in this studio. Was great. Absolutely. Joey. 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 I'm going back and forth I because gotcha. of, you know, the name of the his name company. Is, is, hey. I bet he answers to both, though. Don't oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> My whole life. That's Very right. Nice. All right, guys. We will be right back after a short break. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that interview. And we thank you so much for each and every time you tune in and watch who we have on the show. Help us in helping the community to support local businesses, artists, other creatives, yes, and indeed. nonprofits. Indeed we do. Or even if you just listen. That's but right. uh, we've started doing the YouTube channel again or the YouTube videos again. Um, and right. we intend to keep those going. But yeah, as Angie said, thank you so much for listening. And we hope you enjoyed that interview. If you like the show, we would like to ask you if you could take a minute to go and give us a rating, even better, a review, and best, if you love it, to subscribe to the show on That's your right. favorite podcast player or on YouTube. That's right. And if you have someone that would like to be on the show, if you'd like to be on the show yourself, or you just want to leave a nice little voicemail, give us a call at 407-490-3899. Or an even better way is to shoot us an email at feedback at fineanddangy.com. So real question, do you have that number memorized yet? Nope, I have it right here on my handy dandy iPad. I don't have it memorized yet either. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> I mean, do any of us really call nowadays? No. We yeah, send a true. text, we send an email, we reach out on social media. That's how we communicate. That is correct. <laughs> but we also want to remind you if you could take a moment in every day to think about what you are doing for those in your community and what you might be able to do to do more for those in your community. That's right. I think that needs to be something we think about each and every day yep. when we wake up in the morning. Indeed. And always remember, at the end of each and every day, it's, it's all, all fine and dandy. dandy.
Bam. Bam. <laughs>